The great-grandson of the iconic Native American leader Sitting Bull has been confirmed after researchers analysed the hair from Sitting Bull's scalped lock. And this is the first time in the world a living man has been connected by DNA to a historical figure and this is funded by the Danish National Research Foundation. Wait till you hear this. Sitting Bull was the famous political and spiritual leader of the Sioux Warriors that destroyed General George Armstrong Custer's forces in the famous Battle of Little Bighorn. The confirmation by DNA was made possible using a new method to analyse family lineages using ancient DNA fragments. The technique was developed by a team of scientists led by Professor S. Willersley of the University of Cambridge and Lundbeck Foundation Geogenetics Centre. The results are published today in the journal Science Advances. The technique searches for autosomal DNA in the genetic fragments extracted from a body sample. Since we inherit half of our autosomal DNA from our father and half from our mothers, this means genetic matches can be checked irrespective of whether an ancestor is on the father or on the mother's side of the family. Autosomal DNA from Lakota Sioux leader Sitting Bull's scalp was compared to DNA samples from Ernie Lapointe and other Lakota Sioux. And sensationally, the resulting match confirms that Lapointe is Sitting Bull's great-grandson and also his closest living descendant. Lapointe was overjoyed at the confirmation, saying, Over the years, many people have tried to question the relationship that I and my sisters have to Sitting Bull. Lapointe also believes that Sitting Bull's bones currently lie in a site in Mobridge, South Dakota, in a place that has no significant connection to Sitting Bull or the culture that he represented. He also has concerns about the care of the gravesite, and there are two official burial sites for Sitting Bull at Fort Gates, North Dakota, and Mobridge, and both receive visitors. But with this new, sensational DNA evidence to back up his claim of a bloodline, Lapointe now hopes to rebury the great Native American leader's bones in a more appropriate location. According to PBS, Sitting Bull was born in what is now South Dakota, probably in 1831, son of a respected Sioux warrior named Returns Again, and Sitting Bull as a child wanted to follow in his father's footsteps but showed no particular talent for warfare. So he was given the name Slow until he could earn a better one, and at age 14, during a fight with rival Crow Indians, he managed to count Coop or strike the body of an opposing warrior with a Coop stick and was renamed Tatanka Yotanka or Sitting Bull in honour of this feat. And he had no use for peace with the white man. Sitting Bull once taunted rival Indians with the boast that the whites may get me at last, but I will have good times until then. But what do you guys think about his sensational DNA evidence? Comments below, and thank you for watching.